things to persuade out of this place. Never thought I'd ever live to see my own children cast me out. How am I going to get her out of this house now? She has to go somewhere. Why? She's got a whole house of her own and she's perfectly healthy. Oh, my poor aunt. Mother, please. Why don't we go somewhere more private? Is it to do with the flowers? The roses? I have a place just around the corner. I've got a job for you. You interested? Where's my dad? You can come in now, lover boy. I don't want to live in the farm anymore. I want to come and live in your house. In our house? With you. You know that can't work. It would only be for a short while. That is my decision. You must make yours. Visibility study and expanding the bar to include a bed and breakfast lodge is a viable idea. Well, there may be a lesson there for you. You are expanding your business too quickly. Now, you are overdrawn at the bank. Creditors are after you. A little help, that's all I'm asking for. Then everything will go according to plan. Emmanuel, I like the idea. But I didn't promise anything. What does your wife say about all this? Right now, Eva is under a lot of pressure at work. Pressure indeed. I've just lost my husband. Your dear father is dead. Isn't that pressure enough for me? You are all thinking selfishly about yourselves. I'm lonely. I'm grieving. Yet my sons are abandoning me. Pressure. Ha! Huh? What do you want? To send me to the grave as well? Emmanuel, if you want my help, then you know what to do. I will give you the money if you make sure that I come and live with you. Your mother again, is it? Martin, Gracie, come on. You'll be late for school. Eva, relax a little. Be gentle with Martin. He seems upset since the funeral. You're too soft with him, Manu. You're too soft with everyone. The children, your mother, and your brother, Benja. Always pushing you to join some shady scheme. Agatha mentioned something the other day, that Benja now wants to venture into rose growing. What? Oh, Agatha is a silly woman. What does she know? I don't trust Benja. So, who's this woman? You don't worry. You just make sure that there are no blunders. Got that? But this is only half. You get the balance after the job is done. The job is as good as done. Can you drop me at Agatha Salon this morning? Why are you getting your hair done, Mom? The conference tomorrow. Another conference? It's a short one, Gracie. You can take care of things. Why me? Why can't Martin? Because you can provide you the womanly care we all need with your mother away. Woman? Chris is not a woman. She's a pain in the neck. Shut up, Martin. Enough. Martin, after your behavior at the funeral yesterday, I don't think you should be telling us who's a pain in the neck. And don't forget about the youth club show at the church tonight. I'm not going. What's the matter? Martin? Are you not well? I'm all right. Well? Look. If Martin wants a break from the youth club, that's all right, isn't it? No, he's the one who wanted to do this. It's good for him. Mom, I'm not going to the youth club. I'm through with church and God. I told you. I've got too much to do for all this. You sort it out. I'm late for Agatha already, and I've got three community clinics to visit. Um, Martin, let's talk about this when you get back from school. I better go and miss the bus. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Well, thanks a lot.
going on here? Is there nothing the matter? He's running everywhere, bumping into everything. He has a nice job, but he's always late. What if he loses it? And jobs are so difficult to come by these days. Oh. I'm running late, and I haven't prepared lunch for my mother. Is there something you wanted? You go to work. I can prepare lunch for Martha. Are you sure? I don't want to inconvenience no you. No problem at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Channel and charity. It's their birthday next week. We're planning to get them a gift. I can help if you like. Shall you go around this evening and see what you can find? Yeah, 5 30. It's okay with me. Good. You're late. What's up anyway? Nothing much. Just planning to go shopping this evening. This evening? Good. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, you're going to help me out with some job. What job? We can discuss such sensitive issues in public. Follow me to the boardroom. Boardroom? Is that man serious? Kuchola talks big. Well, I'll see you later at the house. Hey, Daddy. Till we get there. You expect me to do a job that I know nothing about? And you expect me to tell you about a job that you haven't agreed to do? Come on, man, you can trust me. Yeah. No, I can't. Not in my line of work. When do you need me? Tonight. And the money is good. Can't. I got a date with Naomi. Listen, man. The mechanic is letting us have that engine at half price. But the deadline's tomorrow. I'll ask for an advance. Go with that chick if you want, but if you don't hurry, you'll miss the bus. My bus. Ah, a cent in pain. Tina, my necklace. Ona, ya pendeza. Mwani yule kama Sami? Dio nyeye? Si mwamini yule kijana. Yani, kila wakati anabadilisha wa sichana kama nguo. Yani, hakuna anayempita. Hiyo ni kweli. Natukia tabia yake. Nyeye si kama wewe. Fadhali niliamua kumuacha na nafurahi kuwa na wewe sasa. Hata kama wewe na rafiki wako sasa ni waaminifu, hii haiwezi kuzuia kupata ukimwi. Ukimwi huambukizwa kutoka marafiki wa zamani hadi wa sasa na unapozidi kuwa mwaminifu ndipo kuna uwezekano mkubwa wa kuambukizwa. Mbona unaonekana kuwa na wasiwasi moyoni? Yule hayuko tena kwenye fikira zangu.
receive money from abroad, you want it to arrive safely. When you receive money from abroad, you want it to arrive fast. That's why more people trust Western Union to send their money than any other company. Western Union. It's like receiving money from their own hands. discounts. So you'll be home early tonight to speak to Martin? Hey bro, things are moving with that rose growing idea. You know what? I'm not so sure about it. Hey, but that's the very thing that you need. What do you mean? The guy's prepared to pay up the minute he sees the title deeds to the farm. Once the cash is in, you get yours and your troubles are over, okay? Benja, I really don't think that Listen, this is what we do. You help me get mother out of the farm. Let her stay with you. Impossible. Eva won't have it. Yes, good man. You want your business to go bust? Come on. You choose. I know Benja isn't happy with the way I'm running the salon, but it's new for me, and I'm learning. And how are his plans going? That Rose Farm venture? I don't know. Rose farming will wreck that land. Flowers drain the soil of minerals, and it becomes useless for growing anything like food, and it needs so much water to irrigate it. But Benja wouldn't care, would he? He never lets me in on his plans. It's difficult to know whether he's serious about this. So it's just a lot of empty talk and noise, is it? Maybe. He's good at noise anyway. <laughs> My goodness. Can we hurry? I have surgery in half an hour. Even a small advance. It's better than nothing. Times are hard. Everybody has problems. Dad. Something wrong? I'm all right. I'm perfectly fine. I wish everyone would just leave me alone. Right, uh, get your father a beer. So, did I get a beer too? What's wrong? You don't look your usual self today. What's that supposed to mean? It's a bad time and you're not feeling well. But I was wondering if you could give me some money. Who told you I'm unwell? Huh? I don't have any money. That was a lovely meal, Mama Stella. Thank you. You're welcome. 
If you like, I can give you the recipe. My seller sent it to me when she visited some foreign countries. <laughs> I tell you, that girl has all the luck in the world. In fact, I was just reading a letter from her. I know how much you miss her. You don't mind if I go and take a nap? I find it harder and harder to stay awake these days. Well, all right. You go and take your rest. I promise, Salome, that I'll make sure you are taken good care of. And I intend to do just that. Thank you. I thought I would come down for lunch. Business isn't too good. Nobody seems to have the money to take a taxi. Well, then you're just in luck. I prepared a very special dish, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Where's Salome? She's gone to work, and she asked me to help. Besides, I still feel bad about upsetting her yesterday. You know, when I mentioned about the child that I had drowned. You know, at a time like this, we all should be very sensitive to Salome's feelings. I guess so. What was it eight years ago when little Joshua was taken away from you? And in the same quarry, too. Yes. Eight years. What's the day today? Eight years ago this week. And I think you should have a word with Titus. He's definitely not helping things. What do you mean? I know Titus and why Salome is angry with him. You do? Of course. Salome tells me everything. There are no secrets between us. Uh, did you notice how sad she was this morning? Sad. Sad, staring at those funeral photos and wanting to bite Titus' head off. Yes, you're right. Poor Titus. We still don't know how to handle it. We're all upset. We told Titus not to go down there with Joshua. But they're just children. It's that quarry. Even then, there was no fence. Dr. Melly, it's nice to see you again. Okay. Hello, Joyce. Oh. Mr. Karani, you're a long way from home. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'll just go and prepare myself. Joyce will send you in. Actually, it's not that urgent. Where is, where is Dr. Karani? It's his off day today. Sometimes Dr. Melly comes in to replace I him. I have to go. I've been waiting for very long and... My time has run But out. she's right here. She won't be a minute. I have to go. I'll try and come back tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Karani. You can go in now. Mr. Karani? Mr. Karani? And he still doesn't know that his mother knows the truth. Oh. Because he lied to her about what happened? Yes. About two weeks later, he told Martha what actually happened. So he thinks only Martha knows? Yes. I thought you said... You said Salome told you everything. You did. But not all the shocking details. Oh, no. What's wrong? Mama Stella, if you really value this family and friendship, you must never tell anybody this. It would ruin this family if it ever got out. Samu, stop panicking. 
There's nothing wrong with you telling me. There is. Nobody is supposed to know except Martha. Now she told us and so as to secrecy. Well, I'm just like one of the family. And you know me, it's easier to get water out of a stone than get secrets out of me. Stella. Hello. So you're back? Yeah. We had such a good time. I really enjoyed his company. He's intelligent and honest. And it makes me feel beautiful. I don't want to interrupt, but I like you, Naomi. And I think you should be warned. What about? Did you know he had a little brother who died in an accident eight years ago? Really? Oh, yes. And it wasn't an accident. Ah, that was delicious. Sophie, doesn't mommy know how to cook a good dinner? Maybe I should help you invest in a small catering business. Oh, let me build up the salon first. I got five bookings after I left. And even know someone who can help me with marketing. Marketing? And how much extra is that going to cost me? It won't cost you anything. She's helping me. What if she comes around and demands a commission? She won't. Hello? Hello? Agatha. Who is it? I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciated your thoughtfulness the other day. You are right. My sons and their families should visit me regularly to keep me company. Noah is gone now. And this farm can be a very lonely place. I think you and I should have a good long chat. You have some time now, don't you? Yes. Agatha, I want you to talk to my sons. They should understand like you do that I'm an old woman, all alone. Yes. I know that Dr. Eva doesn't want me in her place. But uh, you tell Emmanuel that he must think for himself if he knows what is good for him. Me? I don't think I... Hold on, Agatha, hold on. Hello? Agatha, I'm still here. How is your hair business coming along? I hope Benjamin is not interfering. He's very good at that. Business is picking up. Just wait, Agatha. I'm still here. An old, lonely woman cannot be all right. Tell them to think about it. Hello? Hello? Mama Benja? Hello?
Soul is proudly sponsored by Nivea, Helping Hands from Western Union, the Coca-Cola Africa Foundation.